Uh, this is a uh, mic one. Do you guys hear me? Yeah. Holy crap, this is, this is cool. OK. Uh, thank you for being with here. A couple minutes after COB with me. This is obviously Major Fitz said. It's been my dream for a long time, and, um, and hopefully you enjoy this. So my name is Zach Cohen, and this is me. This was me. This was me on exactly my first birthday on March 14th, 1996. This was me on my deathbed, and this was me with less than 5% chance to live. And luckily, holy crap, I'm standing here for you, right? That's awesome. So um, really, really the best part about this story for you and for me really is not about the medical mystery that saved my life that day because you can't deny that science had a role in that. But what I'm here to talk to you about today is a little thing. And the little thing that saved my life that day, and that little thing is this cake. As I said before, if you remember, my birthday was that day. And that day, as, as you know, and, and, and cakes commonly are filled with hope and, and surprise and excitement and um, and the promise of a new year, but I don't think anyone in that room was even hungry enough to stress eat at that moment. So the stories I'm going to present to you today are, are very deep and very personal to me, um, because the more distance I gain from them, the more meaning they give me, and the more significance I've learned to give them as, as I mature. So this is a story about the little things, and the first little thing I'd like to talk to you about is this napkin. I think it's kind of funny when I tell this story, people kind of go, oh, that's, that's exactly what happened to me. I would say from, I don't know, from the first day of kindergarten until I tossed my graduation cap at, in high school, my mom made my lunch for me every single day. And that was, and, and as you can expect, the classic sack lunch, the brown bag, had a Gatorade, an apple, it had a snack pack, it had really all the essentials, and nothing you can replace from, from my very own mom. But what was also in that was a love note on a napkin, and <laughs> it's kind of funny you guys are giving me this look like, That's, uh, that, that, that was me, that was me, I see a lot of you in me, and, and I like that, that's great. But what's funny is that after, every day after I was done eating, I would pick up all my stuff, and I would walk over the trash can, and I would throw it all away. And the fact that everyone in this audience is really looking at me like, what the heck was that story for, means that you missed the point like I did. When I think back to this time, I was too busy to read that, you know? I was a high school kid, I had homework to do, I had things to like on Facebook, you know. I was busy. I was busy, of course. But what does, that, what does that say about me? What does that say about me and that I did not take the time to pay attention to the little things, to this cake, this very small thing that, you know, could have made my day happier if I gave it a second. And I was too young, I was too immature to understand that I did have a second and that I could have opened my eyes to see this little thing because, frankly, this napkin still makes me smile to this day. The last thing I think we, is something we can, all can relate to, and that is your common, typical good morning. It is your very average, very commonplace greeting in the morning that you can get from anyone. And it's not just at West Point, ladies and gentlemen, but this is in all facets of life. This is in crazy New York City. This is in absolutely packed organizational structures. This is every day of your life, and we're missing something very special. There's two kinds of greetings in this world. The first one is the really boring one. It's you're walking to class and you kick a bottle cap and you're like, hey, what's up, man? Okay, good morning, what's up? And you're still asleep at 7.45 in the morning and you don't even know that kid exists. Like, holy crap, this guy just walks by you and you had no idea what this guy said, right? Or, or, or this girl or this person who was maybe feeling a little down in him or herself and you, and you, and you missed it. But there's the other one there's the other kind of greeting that I know you've all experienced. You're walking along, you're hurrying off to class, you're really busy, you've got a hundred things going on, and someone looks you dead in the face, looks you really right in your soul, and says, hey, good morning. And I know we've all had that feeling, we've all had that experience of another person brightening our day like that. And you're like, whoa, my God. Like, what the hell? What the heck was that? And it's funny because I know what has happened to you. These little things, they happen to us every single day and they bounce off of us like you wouldn't even believe. 
And the older we get, the more mature we get, it's only getting busier, ladies and gentlemen. It's only getting busier because you got to write that resume, you got to make that job, you got to get married, you got to move. All these things are true, all of them. But we're missing something. And, you know, when I say that, it's not a knock on your character, it's really not. It's, uh, it's not about you as a person, it's not about you and your man or womanhood, it's really not. Um, what it's about are our priorities, what matters. It's about our connections. It's about the little things, the cakes in our life that made my life possible to stand here in front of you today that matter to us. And we're missing them because we're just too busy. So if I can leave you with two things from this talk, I think you'll live a happier life. I really do. That's what I can do for you. I actually can do that. The, uh, the first thing is open your eyes a little bit. How often does your mom or your girlfriend or your boyfriend text you in the morning and say, hey, I love you, have a great day? Probably pretty often. But how often do you text back? How often do you pick up your phone when your grandma is calling you at 9.30 at night and all you want to do is study for that test? How often do you pick up the phone and how often do you call her back? How often do you turn to that person who said, hey, good morning, and meant it? Do you say, oh, hey, what's up? How often do you do that? How often do you do that? The second thing I would like to leave you with, in addition to opening your eyes to these little things, these cakes in your life, the things that can make your life better and happier, is to be that little thing that you want to see. Is to impose that happiness, make that connection, these great connections that these speakers have been talking about today of science and education and technology and general lifestyle and history and tradition and all of these things combined. And are, are we missing the connection? Are we missing these little things that make us human, that connect you to the person to your left and right? I think we're missing them. So on this day, on this Friday, in this TEDx talk, the inaugural TEDx talk at West Point, I challenge you, above all things, to be the cake. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. Have a great Friday and have a good weekend. Thank you.